Hello my planner friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be doing my Plan With Me video for the last week of August. My son is going back to school on Monday, so I thought I would do a back to school theme. He's actually going to be a senior this year. So um, it's kind of bittersweet, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and start. I've got some great stickers here. I about found both of these at Michael's um, when on sale. And then I found this one at Walmart. Really like this. It's got a lot of cute little things. He's obviously not graduating yet, but I still like the pencils and stuff like that. So I figured we can pull some out of here. And I've got some washi tape. These both came from, I believe, um, the dollar spot at Target. And this also came from there as well. Um, I've got a couple little die cuts. I've got a cute little journal card from Mambi. And I thought this was cute because it has all the, you know, like writing. I'm going to use this this for my journal card, but I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna be doing it, with it yet. And um, I found my sister gave me this paper that has like senior, final year, friends, the future is bright. So I thought that was really cute. And I'm just going to kind of pull it all together and see what happens. So let's get started. All right. So I'm going to get, of course, get started by cutting my paper. Um, I got that paper from my sister and I have no idea where she got it from, but it, I just basically wanted that part that said senior. I really liked that paper when I saw it. I kind of stole it from her, but so shh, don't tell her. <laughs> no, she knows I took it. Um, okay. So I'm just cutting up this paper and, um, my son actually started his senior year in high school. I know I already mentioned that, but. It's very bittersweet for me because, of course, I want him to, you know, be successful in life and graduate high school and all that stuff. But at the same time, he's still my baby, <laughs> so it's really hard. But it's all right. We're going we're gonna to get through this year and then on to bigger and better things. All right, so I'm going to cut all this paper up. I've got a bunch of different paper, so it's a pretty busy um, just with the paper. So I didn't do a whole lot of stickers. Um, I did add some, some stickers, but, um, it's pretty paper, pretty busy with all this paper that I have. And, um, it was all kind of school related and I, I wanted to use paper that wasn't too like cutesy playground paper. I felt like this kind of had more of a senior look to it. I don't know. So I'm just going to be organizing all the little boxes and um, I ultimately end up do cutting some of more of that senior paper just because I felt like it needed some kind of um, a little bit of something that wasn't so bright and busy um, and even though I got this I think the paper that says I love school and the rulers and the little ones the globes and the books on them all came from the same paper pack so they all kind of had the basically the same colors, which was good. But I still wanted to add just a little bit more of that black in there. And as you can see, it's already really busy. So I'm trying to kind of break it up a little bit. And, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and skip over to the next section. So what I decided to do was, again, I felt like it was really busy. So I'm like, I've got to try to figure out what I can do to kind of tone it down a little bit. And I had that senior sticker that I bought from Recollection, so from Michaels. And I just covered up the bottom black spot with some scrap label paper. And then I put some of that Target dollar spot washi tape. It was um, like grid pattern. So um, I just put that down. And then I think I, I, end, I ultimately end up leaving that senior sticker right there. So it does kind of break up a little bit of the business. My Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays never are really that busy. I don't have a lot going on. So it's generally okay for me to kind of cover up those bottom days. Um, and so I'm just going to get everything glued down here and I will be back.
All right, so then I grabbed some washi tape and I just wanted to use that yellow um, tape to bring out some of the more of that yellow that's in that uh, ruler there. And I just covered up, I just kind of wanted to cover up the black lines. And there was a little bit of space in between where the black line and the paper was because I cut it just a little bit too short. So I kind of wanted to cover up that imperfection. And I just double washi taped it so that it would um, cover, have better coverage. And then I'm doing something apparently off camera. What am I doing? Oh, I'm cutting the bottom label paper off. And then I'm going to work on my journal card. So like I said at the beginning, I'm going to use that paper that kind of looks like kindergarten paper. I just thought that would be funny to have it on a senior spread and I actually kind of like that paper. So I um, I could cut it a little bit bigger than the journal card because I'm gonna put punch my holes on one side and um, then I'll have the whole journal card on the back to journal on. And um, I have been asked before, what do I use my journal cards for? So I just wanted just to tell everyone that I do do my journal cards for journaling. So each week I journal um, I would do a weekly journal, so it's kind of a, just a basic summary, kind of what my week looked like, and then I'm, um, it's kind of nice when I'm able to go back and kind of read it, and and I just kind of put some of my thoughts down on what the week was like and things like that, so that's what I do with my journal cards. All right, and I went ahead and got that glued down, and then I'm going to punch my holes here, and then I, what I decided to do was I was thinking about using that senior but it just wasn't fitting on the page so I am going to put it on the planner layout. All right so I had a couple of I had that ruler cut die cut and I had that little back to school and I tried to use that thing but it, the white and the cream just wasn't working for me. So I had that ruler and I had that little back to school. I definitely wanted to use that back to school and I have the that's that pencil and the eraser came from a bag that I bought a Tuesday morning a long time ago and I basically what I did was I just cut out all the little images and um, I thought oh this is gonna be perfect so I really like this journal card because I thought I think at the end of it all it kind of just looks like it's a piece of paper sitting there with the pencil ruler and a eraser so um, it kind of almost looks like that's like some like above aerial view of a desk or something with a piece of paper on it so I think it turned out really cute. And I'm just gonna get my everything glued down. It took me forever to figure out the layout and kind of what to do, but after I finally found those two items in my stash, I was like, oh, this is perfect. So I was really excited to find those. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get back to, into my happy planner here in a second and put that I just laid that there just to kind of look at it. It looks really busy, but I think it turns out cute. So I went ahead and put that some of that paper on the side panel too, just to kind of bring in some of that paper from the one side to the other side. And then I'm gonna get that cut down and then get it glued down. And then I'm gonna start sticker time.
All right, and that's it, guys. That is my layout for the week. I am going to be loading um, some photos after this, so stay tuned for those, and I'll see you next time. Bye.